Just got out to the range, had some really good ideas. Creepy Cooter's already here. He was literally waiting at the range for me. But look at his face. How can you say no to that? Cooter, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of bored shooting regular ammo out of this 22. I wish they made some sort of uh, some sort of special rounds, you know? Try these. What? What is that? Whoa! They're tiny, 22 long rifle cartridges with shot at the end. 22 long rifle shot shells. Let's try these. Got it loaded up, and these things probably won't cycle in a semi-automatic pistol. So we'll have to manually do it. I'm gonna scoot up pretty close to this, because as we know, out of a rifle barrel, which this pistol is, it gets that shot spinning and then it spreads really quickly. So I assume this is gonna spread a lot, especially since the barrel is so small on this pistol. So let's scoot up close, aim right at that middle uh, duct tape there, and we'll see how much it spreads. Pretty good spread all right here. Let's cover it with some more shot. It's not extracting. Let's go check it out. Again, I was aiming at this, and here's our spread all the way around it. Good two foot wide diameter. That's pretty good considering it came out of a 22 caliber barrel. Pretty neat. You know, I just wish they made something uh, like a bigger version of that. Like these? What? What? What are these? Oh my gosh. No way. 38 357 Magnum. Coincidentally, I brought a 357 Magnum today. Let me go get it. A little Smith & Wesson loaded with some shot shells. Have a new target at the bottom there. Go check it out. Here's that bottom target and a pretty good spread on this too, about the exact same, about two feet in diameter as the 22 spread, but these are much bigger pellets and there's a lot more of them. Here's where those uh, plastic pieces were hitting and actually hitting pretty hard. They were digging into that wood. They're totally sinking through that wood door back there. That actually be a pretty good home defense round. Can you imagine if they made one even bigger than that? How crazy that would be if you just had the power of a shotgun in a pistol sized thing? Like these? What? Bigger is always better. 44 Magnum? Are you joking me? This is gonna be amazing. Raging Bull, 44 Magnum. This should be fun. Shoot right in the center. <laughs> Very cool. The spread goes to the edges here, so probably someone off goes up into here. I can see these bigger holes are from the 44 Magnum down here. I can't really tell where it is here because the 357 is similar in size. I think the 357 is number nine shot and the 44 Magnum was number eight shot, which means they're a little bit bigger pellets. There were 135 pellets approximately in the 357 and there were 170 approximately in the 44 Magnum. I have an idea to really show you guys how much this spreads. Check that out. I'm gonna be about 10 yards. This would be a good uh, in the house self-defense kind of situation, firing down a hallway. Let's see how much of that six foot tall bad guy this thing would hit. I'm gonna shoot right past Cooter. Stay there, buddy, I think you'll be fine. Aiming dead center. <laughs> I'm back to about 15 yards. This one may wing Cooter a little bit, but it's just birdshot, he'll be all right. I trust you, Matt. Still aiming dead center of the door. One left, dang it. Ow! <laughs> the 44 mag shot shells are pretty cool, but I wish I had some watermelons or something more exciting to shoot them into. I've got some melons. You do? Where do you keep those things? Cooter's taking me to uh, 
his house or, or just kind of where he stays in the woods, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, nervous and, and kind of excited about this. Uh, I've always kind of wondered where he lives. You coming, Matt? Yeah, I'm coming. Not much further. I think we're almost here. Yep. Hey. So this is the place, huh? Home is where the heart is. It's nice. Is that my chair? No. It looks just like my chair. That's my chair. Okay. So, uh, where's the food? It's in the cooter cooler. Oh, in the fridge. Outside. Hmm. Cooter, this fridge is not hooked up to electricity. What's electricity? Never mind. Ugh. Ugh. Do you eat out of this? Mm-hmm. Oh. <coughs> oh, God. Let's go. Cooter also had a pantry. Had some extra stuff. This actually smells fresh. What better thing to do with shot shells than to shoot like a shotgun? Pull! Let's see what kind of power it has against a watermelon. We are at uh, five yards. I'm gonna aim high so I don't hit that cinder block. It spread so much I still hit the cinder block in a couple little places. But it peppered this thing pretty good. None of those went through. Actually, yep, they did. A few of them came through. Actually, a lot of them came through. These things are actually going pretty fast. What would it look like for a cantaloupe to get shot point blank with a 44 Magnum shot shell? Seemed to work pretty good. Thanks for watching Newell's hey, Ranch. Matt, Matt, Matt. What? Did you see my new tattoo? Yeah, I've seen it. Do you like it? It's kind of kind of creepy. What if someday you don't want to be friends with me anymore? You and me, Matt, we'll be best friends forever. Contact! <laughs> what about the quad Bobby!